Hello, I'm Mark Schroeder, Vice President of Africa Analysis at Stratfor. I had a recent conversation with the President of Tanzania, Jakaya Kikwete, following his participation at the recent U.S.-Africa Summit that took place in Washington, D.C. President Kikwete describes his vision for Tanzania for the years to come. You, you joined us in Texas immediately following the historic United States-Africa Summit, the first time that, uh, that the United States government has hosted uh, such a summit. Mm. Could you describe your observations of the U.S.-Africa summit that just concluded in Washington? What I can really say is, uh, first, is my deepest appreciation. I have appreciation to President Barack Obama for conceiving the idea of hosting this summit. We have been exposed or we have had an, op an opportunity to, to meet the, the major players in the U.S. economy. These, these, these are companies that uh, have not been easy for African, African heads of state and government to, to get access to. And this is really the game changer. Because what is it that we are looking for from Africa? We are looking for promoting investments, promoting trade, we are looking for technology, we are looking for skills, transfers, and this, the, the, this summit has made it possible to create the ambience for, for the realization of, of, of this dream. From a, from a political standpoint, you know, the country is, is a significant role model in the region, in the East African region, on the continent and abroad. But the, the country really models stability. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we, we have seen, you know, unfortunately, conflict in other countries of the region. But could you tell us what are the characteristics of Tanzania that has really modeled stability uh, in that country and really sets that country apart? I think it's the pursuit of sound political and economic policies in the sense that uh, politics and, and economic policies that have been inclusive, mm. you know, inclusive, that nobody, no, no, nobody is being discriminated against uh, or, or being denied the right to have access uh, or the political or economic because of, of his ethnicity, because of, of his tribe, because of his religion or the part of the country that, 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 that he comes from or because, because of his gender. I think, and, and our first leader uh, really created the foundations for this, the foundations for this, uh, that he made it clear that if, if we discriminate each other on, on the basis of ethnicity, religion, uh, color, or the skin, or tribe, or the area we come from, we are going to tear apart the country. So he laid these foundations, and fortunately, the successive leaders have maintained this policy, have advanced this policy, and it is actually, in my view, it is what has, has, has really delivered. If I could just ask you, Mr. President, if you could describe kind of that, the infrastructure program uh, that you have once again, that really enables Tanzania to position itself in two regions, the East Africa region, the Southern African mm. region, but you know, as a part of this greater Indian Ocean basin as well, okay. connected to mm. South Asia, East Asia, it's really a dynamic, mm. you know, large uh, region. Could you describe Tanzania's position there? Okay. We're developing the ports, which, which is another crit crit critical factor for us. The port of Dar es Salaam, we are building two new berths, berth 13 and 14. We are upgrading the seven berth, berth number one to seven. Of course, we are looking for support from, from from, from our development partners, but we're also looking at le leveraging private sector participation on a PPP basis to develop to develop these ports. And then of course, these ports, are, Tanzania is situated in, is, is, the geography of Tanzania is, 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 is another resource of, of its kind. We are bordering Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and Zambia, Malawi that have been using the port of Dar es Salaam. Yes. So we now have got to deal with with, with, with the railways. We are in the central corridor, which which links the port of Dar es Salaam with Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, and the Democratic Republic of Congo. We are upgrading that one from a narrow gauge to a standard gauge. 
the, the and then of, we are extending the line the, 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 the line the railway line into 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 Rwanda on on onward to the Congo into Burundi onward again to the to, to the Congo the studies have been completed um, it will cost us about four four point one or four point two billion dollars so the, 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 there is so much on, on on the infrastructure side that 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 we are where we are doing but why are we doing it because we are saying poor infrastructure impedes growth and development in a big way we are building 11,000 kilometers of optic fiber a nationwide optic fiber network the the whole of the eastern side of the african continent has as 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 not been connected to the international information highway there is no optic fiber network submarine linking that now south global has built what we call the seacom it has landed fall in dar es salaam but as as we were planning to as we are planning to do that we also started working on the nationwide optic fiber network so that when when this uh, submarine cable land lands in dar es salaam we would be able now to make use of it and connect the country to this cable so that we get into the, 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 the super highway. In one advisory study that Stratfor has done called the Post-China 16, mm. it has really identified Tanzania because of those qualities, because of those infrastructure developments, uh, Tanzania has, set up, has been set apart. The last word to you, Mr. President, is you have intimated you know, the bright future for Tanzania. If you could just conclude with the word of Tanzania in the few years to come, please tell us. The overall objective is to, to develop Tanzania into a middle income country by 2025, by year 2025, with a GDP per capita of $3,000. That's one. But also a highly educated and highly skilled population. A, 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 a knowledge society, increase productivity of the country, make the country a, a semi-industrialized economy, but competitive. Then, of course, but also the fourth, the fourth important factor here has been also ensure that the, the, the country is well governed, good governance, rule of law, human rights. So these, these, these are these are the, the, the four main objectives and the. It's, it's a tall order. It looks uh, not feasible, but uh, when, when we, where we started with, with about 300, uh, GDP per capita 300, we are now close to 800. So I, I, be, I believe in the, in, the, in the remaining 10 years, we would be able to, to, to get there. And now, of course, there is natural gas coming in, coming, coming on stream. It should certainly open up now the, the opportunities for, 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 for the growth of the economy. So I am I'm, I'm really saying the future is, 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 we want to get to become a middle income country by 2025. It's, 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 it's a tall order, but uh, I think with, with the long-term perspective plan, we have, we have the roadmap, we have the benchmarks. I'm, 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 I'm optimistic. Yeah. By 2025, we should graduate into a middle income country. Thank you, President Kikwete. That has been a tremendous conversation. And really under your leadership, Tanzania has achieved so much already, but with the plans that you have initiated, that you have just described to us, with the resources that are being mobilized from a human capital basis, from a economic development basis, you know, the future for Tanzania is bright. It has been an honor to host you here in Texas at the Stratfor offices. It has been an honor to have you after the historic U.S.-Africa Summit. Thank you again for being on the Stratfor Conversations program. Dr. Well, Kikwete. The, the, the pleasure is mine. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. Thank you for all the support. We look forward to continued cooperation with Stratfor. Thank you, sir. Thank you.